All right. We are keeping this talk short, but I do want to still do it. Um, so today, you already know what we got. If you watched the last video, we got primary bench, we got primary deads, we got PRs. Feeling good. It's Saturday. Yeet 2093 Part 2 just dropped. The Drake song was kind of fire. It's all I listen to right now, but kind of heat. So, uh, yeah, we're right. All right. So, a little bit more serious note. Um, squats, obviously, if you watched the video, you would know, but they went amazing yesterday. Uh, new stance is really, really, really good. So, uh, we're locking in on the squats. We need to just, dads have been moving, Ben's been moving, so we need to just keep everything consistent. We're be good right now. I need to hit my bench today. Uh, I really want to hit my bench. So, uh, the chances of me going off program today are probably pretty high, which is kind of bad, but I don't really care. Um, so pretty much what I mean by that is like my range today is supposed to be 112 and a half to 115 on bench. In my competition, I hit 112 and a half. 115 would be a two and a half kilo all time PR and competition PR. Um, and it's supposed to be an RP like nine, nine and a half. And it's week four. It's last week. So after this week, I do lo I deload or I have a week one or whatever. So it's light. So you recover. So uh, I'm going to just push until I can't really get more weight because I don't know when I'm going to have a bench singles again. Um, and honestly, I don't think my coach is going to be that mad. I mean, I say push. I'm going to try to hit 117 and a half today unless the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do my last warm up as 110, which I will film. Um, and if that moves really well, then I'll take 117 and a half. If it doesn't move well, I'll probably take 115. And if it doesn't move at all, I'll probably take 112 and a half. But hopefully it flies. We take 117 and a half. We set a five kilo all time bench PR in just four weeks after comp. So that'd be really hype. Um, and then deads, the top range of my pull today is supposed to be 385. Um, and it's supposed to be at RP nine and a half. So I'm going to be honest, that's probably going to be way too light as well. So I don't know if I, I go above that. Maybe I go above that as well. Because I've been taking like um, I've been taking like twenty kilo jumps in practice, um, through like throughout the weeks. And last week I only did like the last three weeks I've only did ten kilo jumps, um, and each ten kilo jump has kind of put me in an RP above for a triple, which is fine because last week I did one, I think I did one seventy last week, and it put me at like um like RP six and a half, seven. Today's supposed to be an RP nine, nine and a half. And I think my top range is 185. So I might just go to 190. Um, we'll see. My coach probably won't be happy with me if I do that, but I'm only gonna do both of those things if my last warm up flies. So it all depends on how I feel, how my last warm up moves and how everything's going. But I'm locked in right now, I'm, I'm ready. I've been really hyped for this week four. So got everything, got everything good. Um, Get a nice long sleep, good solid eight and a half, nine hours, and uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. So all we got to do is get in the gym. We got to perform, and uh, hopefully I can go off program and take my top ranges. Uh, we'll see. I just want to be true. To, or basically, the reason I'm doing this, like for more logic wise, is I want to stay true to my RPE. Um, so if my RP is nine to nine and a half on deadlifts, I don't want to end the block with an RP eight and a half deadlift. Because even though that's not a big deal, and yeah, it's not necessarily a bad thing, I'm like, yeah, but we just wasted, we didn't waste four weeks, but I had way more in the tank. So, like, there's no point of not doing it, because after this, I just recover anyway. So, if I go to failure, I just recover. Like, I'm not, I'm, I can find my CNS, and then the next two weeks, three weeks, I can recover until my next week four. So, like, I have a lot of time to recover after this. Um, so, I just want to, like, push it, because yesterday, honestly, my squats are probably undershot. Like, I didn't, yesterday, the only thing I wasn't confident in my squat, because it's a new form and everything, so I didn't want to take, like, a super top range, or, like, like, I took the top, I always take the top range of what I'm given, which is kind of bad, but it's, like, always pretty, pretty much true to RPE, um, but I didn't want to, like, overshoot yesterday and be like, nah, I can do more than this, because there was no point, um, like, I could have tied my all-time PR for that fatigue single, and I definitely would have hit it, but I wasn't even confident that fatigue single was going to move, and it did. So, yesterday I wasn't confident. Today I'm really confident. And I'm confident in my bench, confident in my dad. I'm not confident in my squat. So, for that reason, I want to push bench a dead more. Um, if that makes sense. I don't know. Probably not a good logic to do. Makes sense in my head. I'm excited to do it. Let's get in the gym and let's go set some PRs. Right. Last one up. One time. Come on. I got to take Soft. 3, 2, 1. This is recording.
two, one. It felt good. That's the honor of us. Like carnival. Yeah, I'm gonna do professional week guys for me. Let's go. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. What? I got five. Five. All right, Nick. <laughs> Come on. Alright, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk after. But, I have to ref five still. This is super light. I'm sandbagging these. No refs either. Two more. Last set. Let me chill. Let me eat. I'm do dead. Last warm up. Easy. 
Perfect. Oh fuck! All right, bro. I have... Okay, I don't know how much we're gonna do here, but I have one thirty-seven and a half for a three by four. We'll see if I do it. My back's kind of fucked, but if it hurts, I won't do it. But if it feels fine, then we got it. Let's see how it moves. I can probably do it. I just don't want to. It's gonna hurt. All right. Well, this is the downside of going off program. Um, kind of can't do a bit of those, but we'll see if I can do anything else. We'll see how it feels. It's not bad. Do this. Coach said try to do like even this you know super light, just try to do it. Get some volume in, so I'm gonna try. We'll see how it feels. That's not bad. I do it two more times. Alright, two more. It doesn't feel great, but it's fine. It's not awful. Hands are bleeding. One more. Okay, last last four. Again, feels bad. I'm bleeding a little bit, but we're good. Massive PR stay. It's expected. dips okay we're just gonna do 10 for dips instead of weighted because everything's painful but two more sets of 10 um and then we're supposed to do rdls we'll see how they go but come on Oh. 
I do one more there. Okay, last set of 10 on dips. We do RDLs, maybe. We'll see. I'm exhausted, so. Try to do RDLs. Let's see. All right. Um, I'm, so I'm super sandbagging these, like I said. These are gonna be super light. I'm doing 35. Last week I did 65, so pretty much got in half. And I'm worrying about what I don't normally do. Let's, again, back hurts. Back's definitely gonna be destroyed, which is fine. I was expecting that. Um, I just want to get some type of volume in, so just make these like really strict form, and hopefully they don't hurt too bad. Like I said, super light. That might be even a little too light, but we'll see. All right, almost done. This is super light, but I'm just going to keep it here because I don't want to get Good form. That'd be perfect. Oh, good. Let's try to do hip thrusts now. I'm super sandbagging hip thrusts because they destroy my lower back normally. Like I said, super sandbagging these. I think 135. Like, nothing, but still volume. That's the whole point right now. And again, still in a lot of pain, so let's just do something. It's better than nothing, you know? Do anything slow enough, it's hard. I'll do another shot. It was light, but I was like, it feels not bad, so. Just again, three sets of push downs. So we're not going to push that hard. And then go home. Recover. I need recovery. I need food. I need a lot. <laughs> I 
Dead. All right, we're done with this. So push downs. I might pass out. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dead. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm just like getting the definition of sandbagging here. I'm gonna go like 60. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm dead. Just do really good form for like 10 resets. I don't know if you guys can see this, but my thumb is a block. Thumb is uh bleeding kind of bad. I don't know if you can see it, but my thumb is bleeding pretty bad. So I'm not helping with this, but it's fine. Do this again. Two more times. Go home. <sighs> okay, there's a burn. More. All right, that's it. That's, that's it. I'm gonna get Chick Fil A on the way back. I'm in the mood for Chick Fil A. It's Saturday, so come on. Come on. It just shows you. It doesn't matter what, what you do. If you do a good form and you take less stars, you're still going to burn. It's failed at 9. Alright. Not even being dramatic. That was the best workout of my life. That was the probably best I've ever felt ever. Ever. Like ever, ever. Um, okay. So let's just do like a quick recap of the last two days. And specifically more today, but like the last two days. So... If you just if you look at my Instagram, I don't know when this is gonna be posted, but if you look at my Instagram, you'll see what is this person doing. Okay. If you look at my Instagram, you'll you'll see my post, which is a recap of everything, which is what I'm gonna talk about here. But basically, um, basically, I just I hit yesterday. I hit a squat. I hit a set of four with three ten. In my meet. I think I, I hit 3.30, and I failed 3, I failed 3.52, that makes sense, I think, because in training, I hit like 3.40 something, because I hit 152.5, or in training, I hit, I don't even know, it's like, I don't know, I don't remember, but point is, I hit really close to what I hit in my comp for four on squat, and then right after doing that, Right after hitting it for four, I then go right back and hit a fatigue single two and a half kilos more than what I hit in comp. Two and a half kilos under my all-time PR as a fatigue single. And it moved at like an eight, which is like absolutely insane. Um, so that was yesterday. So yesterday was already insane. And today was even more insane. I was benching and I was in the car coming here. I was like, oh, I'm probably going to go off program. Like, you know, I was talking to you guys. I was like, I'm probably going to go off program. Maybe take 117 and a half if I'm lucky. That's two, or maybe just take 115 was what I'm supposed to take. And I took 120. I took two reds. I took two reds. I never thought I was going to hit two reds. I didn't think I was going to hit two reds for months. Months. I just hit it casually. I mean, yeah, it was at like a 10 with a bad pause, but like, who cares? That's two reds. That's seven and a half kilos more than I hit in my comp. That's 17 pounds more than I hit in my competition four weeks ago. 
You're telling me I had to put 17 pounds on my bench in four weeks? That's insane. That's absolutely insane. The goal was to have a two and a half kilo PR. And I would have been really happy. That was a big goal because I only did four weeks ago. And I have a seven and a half kilo PR. That is absolutely insane. What is this person doing? That is absolutely insane. So bench went absolutely fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I matched what I did last week with the back down because I didn't want to fatigue myself too much. My form was in a little pain. It's fine. That often moved really well. Back down moved really well. Everything was perfect with bench today. And when we go to deads, in my comp, I hit 182.5 kilos, which is 402 pounds. Okay? My range today, my top range was supposed to be 175 kilos, which is still massive. That's 7.5 kilos what I pulled, under what I pulled in comp for three. That would have been massive. I'm warming up. I'm like, all right, I really want to try to take what I hit in comp for three, which is absolutely insane. And I do my last warm-up, you guys saw, and I'm like, mm, it moved, but it moved a little harder than I wanted. So I was going to just load. I was like, all right, I'll just jump 10 kilos and just load that. That's good enough. That still would have been crazy. That would have been 177 and a half, two and a half kilos more than I'm supposed to take. That would have been five kilos under my competition. But no, you know what? I'm like, you know what? Let's just load 400. So I load exactly 400, which is 181 and a half, which is one kilo under what I hit in competition. And I hit it for a triple. For a triple. I probably could have hit what I hit in comp for a triple. Wouldn't have been an extra two pounds. I could have just matched it for a triple, but I wanted the 400. I set 400 for a triple. This is insane. This is like the most insane day of my life. Like I don't, this is the most insane lifting day of my life for sure. I, today, I mean, I grinded today. I grinded bench. I grinded that. I grinded more than I did in my competition today easily. Also way more exhausted than I was in my competition, which makes sense because I grinded like crazy. I was here for about five hours maybe. So yeah, overall the best session I've ever had in my life. Um, absolutely zero complaints. My coach, Sam, I absolutely love you. You're obviously amazing. Clearly, look what we're doing. So, uh, yeah, shout out to Sam. And uh, shout out to all my boys in the gym that were with me and whatever today. Gave me motivation. Uh, the, the kid with the afro that you guys always see told me, it's like, just take two rides. You got it. I'm like, all right. I believe you. So, shout out to everybody. Uh, it's going to be a nice week. Um, I might film again this week just because it is still week four. So, I get to push myself for a little bit more the next three days. And then I get to just recover. Just sleep, recover, and chill out. So, overall, last two days have been absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed these. And then uh, my next week four is going to be even crazier because then we got probably triples and doubles. So, we're about to go crazy. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, do whatever, support as much as you guys can. I do enjoy filming, and hopefully you guys, at least some of you guys, like to watch it. So, yeah. Overall, solid day. Really happy. Really exhausted. The only thing I wanted to say was powerlifting fatigue is a very different thing than any fatigue you've ever felt in your life. Because it's not like I'm so tired because I did like a bunch of reps or like I ran or anything. It's a different type of fatigue. It's just your CNS just gets absolutely fried. And you just don't know what to do. You're just fried. So it's very, very different fatigue. But I feel absolutely amazing and uh, happy everything went well today. See you guys in the next one. Peace.